Good morning, everybody. Morning. How are you? Good. Good. Get everybody in here. Yeah. Skip the meeting for one week and everybody wants to come back and attend. I love it. <laughs> well, first of all, let me say thank you to everybody for understanding last week. We had a few issues with everybody being out on Wednesday, um, either from sickness, family issues, or conferences that they were attending. So we really were not able to um, have the meeting last week, which um, honestly would have been probably one of our better meetings to have because we made so much progress um, last week that it would have been great to give everybody an update on that. But uh, I think at the same time, hopefully everybody can visually see what is going on out there. So the, the updates speak for themselves. But um, just want to quickly kind of go through where we're at right now. Um, obviously, last week, the, the main line of Salem got paved. Uh, a lot of the curb and gutter uh, got paved as well um, on Salem, kind of really setting us up for uh, kind of the what I would consider the final stretch run on Salem. Um, I always have to caution everybody that, you know, sometimes people see the road go in and think that, uh, everything's going to be completed within the next week or two. Um, sidewalk work can get a little finicky. Um, it does take a little bit of time and there are some um, very, um, I, I, not big details, but there's a lot of detail that goes in um, to the last portions of the sidewalk here. So um, we're still on track probably for, you know, another three to four weeks uh, before we get that portion open. Uh, on Salem, but uh, we are targeting that uh, weekend of ridiculous days um, just to make sure that that stretch is open by then. And but as long as weather holds up, I mean, the, the rain yesterday and today really isn't going to delay us too much because uh, we're at a point on this project where rain doesn't really affect us too much because we have so much rock down on the site. Um, but again, we just, we have to be kind of conscious of uh, other delays that could happen. Um, and, you know, ultimately the, the weather does delay us a little bit because there's things that we can't do while it's raining. Um, you can't pour concrete while it's raining because that will ruin the concrete. So, um, we're, you know, we're in a little bit of a holding pattern right here, but still on schedule for where we thought we would be this week, which is good. So going over where we're at on that, I think, uh, going back to phase one, um, we're looking at getting all the site furnishings in this week. That includes the benches, the trash receptacles, bike racks, and things like that. That is all on schedule. Um, the plantings on phase one, the annual plantings were all put in last week. Um, trees are going in, I believe, as we speak right now on phase one. So we're doing pretty good on, on buttoning up um, all of phase one and getting that uh, looking to where it needs to be. Um, Last week, again, we did so a little bit more grade preparation on Howard to get ready for the mainline paving and curb line paving of Howard, uh, which should happen early next week. But we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, and then yet this week, we are still anticipating on getting these sidewalks in on the north side of Salem. Um, I know Tanner's on here and I correct me if I'm wrong, Tanner, but I believe uh, the anticipation is, is that we are going to get that complete north side done here this week. So that's in front of the parking lot and then in front of those few businesses there on the north side of Salem. I think the plan is to uh, get that um, pulled out and formed up here maybe tomorrow, get it poured on Friday and then kind of get everything cut Saturday morning to, to be ready to go. Um, also looking at starting to pour back um, the crosswalk at uh, Salem and First. Uh, we did run into just a minor issue um, with that yesterday, but I think we're able to get through that pretty fast um, and get that crosswalk put in so we can get the pedestrian traffic um, across the street on Salem there in a little bit more of a safe matter. Uh, they are um, forming up and are ready to pour the intersection of Salem and Howard. 
Um, they will do that next before they begin the mainline paving on Howard, but I, I believe um, that's probably going to start happening tomorrow, um, assuming that we don't have any more rain tomorrow. Um, the pavers on Salem will be installed, I believe, on Friday. And um, as I mentioned, trees and all that stuff are going in. Uh, so then looking at next week, um, on next week, they're going to look to pour the sidewalk on the south side of Salem. Um, I know Krause Cafe is planning on closing next week because kind of twofold, the sidewalk is going to go in. And at the same time, they wanted to get a family vacation in at the same time. And they were kind of waiting for the sidewalk. Um, that helps us out immensely because a lot of the pedestrian traffic we have uh, moving through the construction area is related to Krause. So that gives us a little bit of flexibility to, to get that sidewalk in there from the alley down to first street pretty fast. Um, and then hopefully the other portion after that from the alley up to Howard uh, can also get done next week. Um, mentioned uh, the main line paving on Howard will take place. That should take place early next week. So we'll start getting that main line in there. Um, once the concrete has reached maturity and we are able to get uh, more heavier traffic on that, i.e. a cement truck, um, then they will start pouring the curbs uh, along there as well. But I would anticipate it looks like we have pretty good temperatures next week. So um, I would anticipate that would all probably take place next week as well. And then looking forward to kind of some future work that's going to be happening. So the week of uh, June 6, we mentioned uh, we'll kind of button up the, the sidewalk construction there on Salem, um, then start prepping for the sidewalk construction on Howard. We'll give everybody a little bit more notice on that when that's going to happen. Um, but that should be happening once we get that all buttoned up on Salem. So I would anticipate about um, the, the second full week of June there is kind of when you'll see that happening. Um, and then the uh, two big things, and I, I don't know who's on, on the call here, but um, we are looking at, and we've mentioned this a few times, kind of how we're going to phase things for the rest of the summer. Um, and that really uh, looking at how Ashland's going to get finished those last three blocks. So um, our plan at this point is uh, hopefully on June 6, it could get past a week, but let's plan on June 6 that we are going to close down the block of Ashland between First and Howard, which would also include the intersection of um, Howard and Ashland. Um, that's so we can start getting in there, getting the concrete tour out there, get all the utilities put in, and then start the pave back on that as well. So then once we get Salem and Howard finished, we're able to just keep shooting north, or excuse me, keep shooting west on Ashland and getting those last three blocks done. Um, it is our main intention at this point to get all of the street construction done still yet this construction year. Um, we are pretty confident at this point that we are on schedule to do that. Um, so we are planning to move forward with getting that done um, so we can be done in the streets this year and get the square kind of back to normal come 2023. Um, just keep in mind, 2023 is going to involve a lot of alley construction um, that does go on. I think that's a little bit less disruptive to the general public because the general public is not using the alleys. Um, however, as far as the businesses go, there is a lot of um, sewer and water services that are um, coming into the businesses from the alley. So there could be some utility disruption still yet in 2023. But as far as your customers go, I think for the most part, people are, are going to kind of see the square back to normal. Um, but anyways, we'll work through that and kind of once we firm up that uh, date. And again, we think it will be, um, excuse me, let me get my calendar here. I just want to make sure I have the right date. We're pretty confident it'll be June 6th that we'll close that block of Ashland down. It could get pushed to June 13th, but um, once we firm that up, we'll let everybody know. And I believe those businesses along that block of Ashland that are going to be affected are going to get their notices here within the next couple of days. And then we'll start doing some um, inspections, kind of our pre-construction inspections on that next week as well. Um, a few other things in the future that still have yet to come, all the permanent pavement markings on Salem, 
Um, we're working to kind of get that plan together. Now that block of Salem between uh, Buxton and Howard that was finished last year, uh, pretty much all the uh, pavement markings are gone on that block. We knew that was gonna happen. We had to put down kind of a temporary paint last year just because of the time of year that we did it. It was a little bit colder um, and we knew we were gonna have to come back and get the permanent ones in there. So we don't intend to do that until we have the other block of Salem open because we don't wanna um, completely shut down those two blocks but uh, we're working on a plan to get that done and we'll communicate that out um, yet uh, this year. And then lastly, and I know we've talked about this and um, I know Brenda has done a really good job of kind of getting the word out to the businesses and we're kind of talking internally on how we can help with this, but all of the businesses on Salem, um, even the ones on Howard yet, um, we just want to remind everybody to, to kind of take a look at your basements and see the, the street uh, facing foundations. And if you notice any um, bigger holes in there, window wells, door wells, anything like that, just let us know because that helps us as we're moving forward. Um, those things need to be addressed uh, before we can put a sidewalk back on top. Um, if there is any voids in the sidewalk, we did run into that a few times in phase one. Um, but if you notice any of those things in your basements, again, just please let us know because we can start kind of planning ahead um, and get a get an action plan in place to, to make sure we're not holding up um, the construction project to take care of some of these minor issues. So um, Tanner, Brenda, AP, I know you're on here as well. Um, anything I miss, uh, please add to that. But if not, uh, happy to take any questions. Nope, that's everything I have in the notes. Perfect. Any questions? Carly, can you clarify just a couple of things for me real quick? And I, I'm sure you've said this before. Um, so when you're talking about the sidewalk in front of Krause's, mm -hmm. um, so the alley in between obviously route and Krause's, that is going to remain open during the portion of the Krause pourback, but will be closed during the portion that takes place in front of Roots? I think that's right. I can clarify that. Tanner, if you know the answer to that, let me know. But at some point, we'll have to have that, that shut down. And I think you're right on the timing on that, or the sequencing, I should say, of that. Okay, second question, just looking ahead for that 25th. Can you um, clarify whether the intersection of Ashland and Buxton will be open during that time frame? I know you said that Howard and Ashland will be closed, but um, trying to figure out Ashland and Buxton intersection, and if that is going, if you think that's going to be closed for that 25th or if that particular one will still be open? I I would anticipate that it would still be open, um, but let me also double check on that. I mean, I, I, I would say with about a 90% confidence that it will be open, um, but again, if there's something that they're able to do to start moving forward on that, uh, we're probably not gonna stop either. But um, I think again, when, when it comes to ridiculous days on the 25th, really the only blocks that should be shut down um, at that point will most likely be Howard because we'll still be finishing some of the sidewalk construction on that. And then that block of Ashland between Howard and first. Perfect, thank you. And I saw a question in the chat about the sidewalk tear out there on the north side. Um, again, Tanner, I'll have you clarify this, but I'm going to guess that that tear out will not happen until tomorrow. Um, typically, when we have rain in the forecast, I think they like to kind of keep the sidewalk on top um, because that provides for a dry base underneath. Uh, but Tanner, just clarify that we're not doing any sidewalk tear out today. Um, yeah, I've yet to go down there and check it out. Uh, my understanding was that it would be torn out, uh, or this, the tear outs would be starting today. Okay. Well, we'll clarify that. I don't know who's asking that question, um, um, but we'll clarify that and um, make sure everybody knows. And I guess it would make sense because they're probably tear out today, form up tomorrow, poor Friday, right? 
Yep, that that's the plan right now. I think it's Sheena from Roots was asking okay. that question. Okay. Glad Tanner's here because sometimes I'm not completely up to date on the timing of everything, but if that's what's been communicated out, then go with that. <laughs> Any other questions? I don't see anything else in chat. All right. Um, there is Tanner. There is something in the chat that says, if once you confirm that they're gonna be tearing out the sidewalk, could you please call? Um, Sheena and or Eric, I'm not sure which number this is, but it's 515-210-0145 to let them know. Yep, I can do that. I think what we're trying to figure out is if we need to be closed on Saturday or not. If everything goes as planned, again, Tanner, let me, let me have Tanner jump in here because he's going to know this better than I, but if everything goes to plan, they're most likely pouring on Friday. They'll cut the sidewalk early in the morning and it should be available after they get it cut. So I wouldn't think, depending on what time you open on Saturday, um, I wouldn't think being open on Saturday would be an issue. But again, Tanner, please clarify that. Yeah, that was that was also my understanding. However, I know the rain today, they were going to pour today that they will not be able to today. So I have to check again with the contractor to see the timing on that. But yeah, what Charlie yeah. said is the plan. I, yeah, let's uh, what, what we'll do um, and Tanner, I can help you possibly tomorrow at some point if we have to. We'll, we'll let everybody know on the north side there what is Kind of the schedule once we can kind of firm up when everything's going to take place uh, on that it's just it's kind of waiting to see what the rain does today i know the forecast kind of calls for intermediate rain and, and hopefully it misses us for the most part and they can get some stuff done but it, it is really kind of dependent on um what the weather does today so but we'll we'll firm that up with everybody once we've got the final plans in place and we'll do whatever we need to do it's just a matter of just figuring it out just, probably between now and Friday. Appreciate it. Yeah. Other than that, great. I I don't see any other questions. If there's any, just jump in here, but are, are feel free to reach out at any time, but um, I appreciate everybody's uh, cooperation and then kudos to absolute I know they've uh, they've they've gotten kind of caught back up on schedule we fell behind uh, after that week of rain we had a few weeks ago and uh, they've done a really really good job of getting us back to a point where we're um, close to being back on schedule so appreciate all of their work and um, let us know if you need anything otherwise I'll stick around here for a little bit to see if there's any questions And if not, everybody have a good day. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you, guys.